Hi there, it's Claire here from My Creative Spirit, sharing my uh, Graphic 45 Ambassador intro project with you all. Thank you Diane, Cherie and Amy for inviting me to be an ambassador for Graphic 45 again this year. I'm really looking forward to an exciting and fun year of crafting with your fabulous products. So the project that I've made is a memory box. Uh, it features a photo of me on the top and I've taken my basic box kit, my basic photo kit, put them together to make this memory box. Um, we spend a long time crafting for other people and I thought it would be really nice to have a project that you can make just for yourself and keep all of those little things in that we like to hold on to over the years. So I've altered it in papers from A Lady's Diary collection. I love that collection. Really timeless Edwardian feel throughout the whole um, set of papers. And it's got some lovely embellishments that come with it too. So I chose the pink and browns um, predominantly for the theme of my project. I've done a lot of fussy cutting on the top. And I don't know if you can see, but I've... Uh, put UT on the top of the elements just to sort of make them a bit thicker but also after a while it starts to crack and I really like that aged look. So um, we've got a couple of photo corners going on here, a sticker and then the flowers are raised up on foam pads on the top and of course the photo is interchangeable. I've just lost loads of photos on my laptop and some of them I should have had in hard copy so that was sort of the inspiration behind the project really and then the box opens oh no let me just tell you lovely antique door plate and the antique keys on the front and I've added the lion feet at the bottom let's just turn it round I've done some paper piecing as well with the border I love that clock border, it really ties in well with the papers that I've chosen. So I paper pieced the border into the papers and then cut them to size for the base of the box. And then opening it up, I don't know if you can see, maybe I need to tip it slightly. Um, I've used on the lid the large chipboard piece with a clock behind it. You can also get a photo behind there and then cut out that gorgeous rose from the signature sheet of paper to go on the lid and then carried on the papers through the box with the browns top and bottom. And then inside, right at the top, we have got, let's just lift it out. It's tricky to do it upside down. Whoops. One book that sits on the top and I'll take you through all the books in a minute. And then there's a ledge and a sort of lid and then inside you could just leave the box like that but inside I've put a diary and also a photo box so there's the inside of the box so if I just shut that and put it to one side then I can take you through what's inside so I made a Japanese stabs stab bound um, scrapbook lots of fussy cutting on the front of this one um, I had loads of papers left over so I really sort of trawled through them and cut out some of the um, mono images and mixed them with some of the coloured images we've got stickers going on here um, lots of matting and layering and then the lovely Japanese style binding and it is just a little black scrapbook um, I used twine, black twine, to bind it together. So little scrapbooks are always useful. So that was the one that sat in the very top of the box. And then I made a photo box. Now you can put six by four photos in, a whole bunch of them, or you could use the little photo um, wallets that I've made to go inside. So again, fuzzy cutting on the front. I've gone with the green papers for this little box. So it's decorated all the way round. There's a ribbon closure that you'll see on the inside. And then I've used the stickers and the cutouts from the paper. So it reads timeless memories in pictures on the front and added a clock. 
and some of the roses and then there's a ribbon pull and it opens up. I've used the little ATC banners down here. I've put P for photo. Um, backed it with the pink paper so that if you put something underneath you still get that pink letter. Again, added some fussy cut elements. And then I've used the stickers across the centre here to spell out the word pictures. And there's a ribbon closure that ties it all together. Let's just undo that. And then inside I've made some photo wallets and the photo wallets, there's three of them but you could add more, have some detail on the front and then a pocket for a photo, a flat mat for a photo at the top and then on the back I've used the ephemera cards from the One More collection, the pink's tied in really well with the pink in this collection and just put a ribbon band across the back so that you could add a little note or even more photos on the back. So there's three of those. I love that paper. And then the green one. And you could personalise them to suit whatever you're going to put inside as well. And they've all got their little cards on the back. And then I also made a slightly smaller one. So that one's five by seven. It didn't feature in the box, but I'll show you. So same front, but inside I put my initials using the tag. We've got the little photo card in here. And then I put June 2016. And then it opens up. And I just made one little um, photo wallet to sit inside it. And again, with just with a little ribbon loop on the back. So really fun little box to make. And then the last thing that was in the box is a diary. We all like to journal and write things down. So I thought it would be really fun to make a shaker diary. <laughs> and I don't know if you can see, but there's lots of beads and sequins inside that. I'd not made a shaker anything before, so it was really fun to make. And there's a tutorial that goes with this one as well, if you like to make one yourself. So I've used acetate on the cover, foam tape to raise up the centre, and then all the beads and the sequins are inside. So there's greens and blues and peaches to match the colours in the collection. And then um, I've got the lady off the cover of the paper, fussy cut letters, a lady's diary, which of course it is. And then um, added some more of the fussy cut elements from the collection as well on a coordinations signature paper from Reverend 45. It tied in really well with the pinks and I thought it just offset the cover. And then inside it's just plain. Um, there is a four page section for each month. The book is stitched and as you go through you can see that I've used stamps at the top and those stamps are from the Time to Flourish collection. I thought they went really really well with the style of script on the front. So if you'd like to make one of those then do follow along um, with me and uh, make one yourself. So that is it, that is my um, Graphic 45 Ambassador Introduction Project. Let's bring all the elements back in. One two, three, maybe not. Will we get the box in as well? Four, almost. So thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to give me the thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video and subscribe to my channel to be kept up to date with projects as they come out.